Hey everyone, welcome to Chuck's Guitar Geekery. Today I'm going to demonstrate the difference between plugging an 8 ohm amp into a 16 ohm speaker versus plugging an 8 ohm amp into an 8 ohm speaker. Generally from what I've read, when you plug an 8 ohm amp into a 16 ohm speaker, you only get about two thirds of the power because of the resistance of the speaker coming back to the amp and a whole bunch of science jibber jabber that I really don't know that much about. For safety's sake, if you were going to experiment with this, never have the number on the speaker lower than the amp. So don't plug a 4 ohm speaker with a 8 ohm amp. You're going to damage some shit. And I love all music gear. I don't want to see any of it destroyed. But really, what is the volume difference between the two? So for the 16 ohm cab today, I have this Jet City 112 with the Eminence Cannabis Rex. It has a sensitivity rating of about 102 decibels, so it's a pretty efficient speaker. And for the 8 ohm 1x12, I have the kind of homemade cab you've seen in other videos of mine, and that has an Eminence Tonker light in it. So that's around 103 sensitivity. Definitely a brighter sounding speaker, but they're both comparable as far as sensitivity rating goes. The amp is an Orange Terror stamp, so it's got a 20 watt solid state power section to it and a tube in the preamp. I'll hit it at one point with a tube screamer. And part of the reason I'm doing this is amp manufacturers can get a little sneaky when it comes to how much power they say an amp has versus what you'll actually see in the real world because quite frankly finding a 112 speaker cab that's 4 ohms is incredibly rare. But a lot of these small amp manufacturers will say, you know, we have 50 watts at 4 ohms. So by the time you get it into your 8 or 16 ohm speaker, you're only getting 25 watts. But like the Orange Terrace stamp I'm using today, the speaker output has an 8 slash 16 ohms. But you're not going to get the full 20 watts at 16 ohms. I think I've seen calculations where it comes to about two thirds of the power once you get into a 16 ohm with a 8 ohm amp. Let's see what that comes out to as far as decibels on um, both the volume and the gain on this about one o'clock. Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, follow me on all my social media. I feel like I say the spiel in my sleep at this point, but let's have some fun.
Okay, so a quick scan through the video I just shot. It looks like maybe about a three decibel difference between the two. And like I said, both speakers are comparable as far as efficiency. And also, the 16 ohm is, you know, about four fifths closed back. The 8 ohm is completely open back. I'm not sure how much of a difference that makes with what's going forward to the decibel reader. It's definitely a method if you have an 8 ohm amp that you think is too loud for some of your situations. Finding a 16 ohm speaker can help tame that a little bit. Anyways, fun little experiment. Like I said earlier, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and until next time, cheers.